complexities are increasing all the time and the research I'm interested in is trying to combine emerging technologies with the sustainability agenda. And I think combining two such broad issues, I think it's quite evident that we need better capability of foresighting. Current technological advances are expected to bring economic, social and political transformations of an unprecedented scale. Advances in areas such as artificial intelligence, communication technologies, robotics, biotechnology and material science are set to change our future. Foresight capabilities and emerging technologies is one of the prioritized research themes of Mistra Geopolitics. One part, helping international organizations and states make sense of and use the potential of these technologies to achieve the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. AI has the, the potential to, to really work as a what is it, shifter of geopolitical uh, what is it, balances in the sense that it gives the opportunities for, for countries to really leapfrog development that taking a significant jump in, in this technology. So uh, instead of having to go through all the development phases that other countries have been doing, they can directly go to what is the latest technology, what is the most effective way of solving this uh, sustainability uh, challenges that we are facing. I think it's important that we from the sustainability community start to look at emerging technology with fresh eyes. So a concrete example of an AI application which had been used to uh, significantly reduce the energy consumption is actually in these big data centers uh, where they uh, used machine learning to optimize uh, the usage of energy and then they could reduce the energy consumption by 30%, uh, which of course is a, is a major uh, achievement. When it comes to Sweden, looking into our uh most uh, exciting companies. We see a lot going on in the green transition, not least if we look up in the northern part of Sweden, where we see this green industrialization, new industrialization, where you take advantage of new technologies in combination with the resources that we have. How do we make sure that this technology uh, benefits uh, everyone, or at least as many people as possible. And I really think this is one of the major risks, that, that we will not see this widespread uh, adoption. There are three very important critical elements that need to be in place in order for us to fulfill the UN 2030 agenda. Technologies, especially forward-looking emerging technologies, are nowhere to be found in the agenda as it is written right now. This is extremely important to add that component to the agenda. The second part that is missing is actually geopolitical considerations between nation states that are there to fulfill the agenda. It is states that have signed the agenda in the UN system and it's states that need to deliver on the agenda. Still, geopolitical aspects are not there to find anywhere in the agenda. Thirdly, I think we need to increase our capability to look forward because the agenda is explicitly forward-looking. Looking into 2030, painting this grand vision of a sustainable future. In order to achieve that future, we need to explore different future pathways to that future and assess those different pathways, pros and cons, trade-offs and synergies in order to fulfill the agenda and the SDGs. If we in Mystery of Politics can help just a little in order to navigate this very complex policy space and people from the policy community come to us for advice, I will be very, very proud for being part of this research program.